As the Father has sent me, so I send you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Do you think that Thomas was surprised that Jesus had been raised from the dead? What was he really expecting? It's a question that's much more significant than one might imagine. What I'm trying to get at is this. What did the idea of resurrection mean to a first century Jew? The concept of resurrection was a very hot topic among Jews at the time of Jesus. One of the main things that made Judaism stand out was that many Jews increasingly believed in bodily resurrection. We get a hint at this complex argument and question in the pages of the New Testament. In Acts 23, for example, we see an argument break out in response to Paul's teaching between the Sadducees, who did not believe in the resurrection, and the Pharisees, who did. Belief in resurrection was one of the key things that made Jewish thought different from almost every other religion in the ancient world. The Greeks thought the idea was a ridiculous one. We hear in Acts 17, when Paul speaks about it in Athens, that large parts of his audience scoffed and laughed at the very idea of bodily resurrection. So for a first century Jew like Thomas, the idea of resurrection would not be a complete surprise. But it was something he would expect to happen to everyone at the end of time not just one person, like Jesus Christ. The key point is this. If a first century Jew saw someone rise from the dead, they would have to come to only one conclusion. If someone had been raised from the dead, then the end time was upon them. If someone had come back from the dead, then God was beginning that great thing all Jews looked for, the final ushering in of his kingdom, of which the resurrection of the dead was the first glorious sign. I got a feeling it's that conclusion that Thomas can't cope with. Not so much that he's shocked to see Jesus again. So it may be that Thomas grasped more quickly and more directly than the other disciples the consequences of what Jesus' resurrection meant. If Jesus was raised from the dead, it didn't just mean their teacher had won the day. It meant this was the decisive event by which God was beginning to create the whole of the cosmos anew. This was the turning point of all history. Now that sense of the imminent arrival of God's kingdom is something it's very easy for us to lose, isn't it? But I think we're given a very important clue by Jesus in the first half of our gospel reading this morning about how we can preserve it. For the risen Lord said to his disciples, as the Father sent me, so I send you. However and whenever God's kingdom comes on earth, our being sent out into the world 
is somehow part of it. We are actually co-workers with the Lord. It sounds a bit spooky to put it in this way, but all Christians should be a sign that the end time has come. I don't mean we should stand at Oxford Circus wearing sandwich boards, proclaiming the end of the world is nigh, but our witness to the risen Lord is a sign that God has decisively intervened in the course of history and is bringing all things to their final consummation. I think that goes right to the root of what we claim to be as a Christian community. Everything we do, all our various activities and worship and service isn't just about keeping a church building going for the next generation or preserving a cultural institution. No, it's about asking ourselves how we go about being a sign of God's kingdom, a sign of resurrected life. How do we make sure that when people experience our community here, they feel at work the liberating power of a resurrected man who died 2,000 years ago, a power still at force in the way in which we care for each other, in the way in which we welcome those who seek faith, still at force in the way in which our worship transforms and renews, still at force in the ways in which we seek to serve our community and contribute to the common good. That's the key thing which lies behind our life as a parish. We need to live in such a way that the power of the resurrection is felt in our community. I think Thomas had the answer when he worked out the significance of those early Easter morning reports. For it is only in the power of him whom he called his Lord and God that anything we do is possible. Amen. Amen.